What's up you guys, Ethers? Mystical Child coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you. And hopefully this pick a card is useful to you whenever you see it. The pick a card today is, do they see a future with you? And if yes, I will tell you the type of future they see with you. So take what apply, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And I have three pals. So we have pal one. Shout out to you guys for coming through, holding the vibes, building the channel. Shout out to my new and old subscribers. Let's pop it. If you're a visitor, this is pal two. And this is pal three. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, pick your pal, pal one, two, or three. I'll give you crystals. For pal one, I'll give you the jade. For pal two, I'll give you the clear quartz. And for pal three, I'll give you the amethyst. I was going to use the carnelian. I never use a carnelian. So for pal three, you get two. It's a little carnelian crystal. You can see it. It's like a little shark's tooth. So yeah. See you in pal one. Okay, pal one. If you pick this deck. Or if you pick this crystal, this jade. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully you could get some messages from this reading or some insight with this um, reading. The title is, Do They See a Future With You? So take what apply and leave the rest. Shout out to my subscribers. No, all oh, was popping. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So we're going to get started. So, do they see a future with you guys? Um... To be honest, hold on for a second, I'm thirsty. Okay, back, sorry for that. Okay, so for some of you guys, for most of you guys in this reading, it seems like you guys don't really have anybody that you're with, or if you have somebody you're with, it seems like they are in bad health or... They could be in a hospital. They could be in a facility where somebody's caring for them right now. For some of you, for a small percentage of you guys. But for most of you guys, with this house and the sudden wealth, it seems like you guys are building your home, building your wealth, which means built, working on your stability, working on your foundation to make sure that you're safe and solid and set for the future. It seems like some of you are in a nice big home by yourself. You have space to occupy. Um, you have a, you have space for someone to um, occupy it with you. But a lot of you right now are not occupying or living with nobody. Why well, keep saying occupying like that? That sounds weird. It just sounds weird. It seems like you guys are not living with anybody. If you live on your own, it seems like you're in your home by yourself. You have a big, nice home. You have enough space to have a partner move in with you, you have enough space to have a child, but it seems like you guys are working on your funds. Some of you have come into sudden wealth um, out of like the blue. Some of you could have hit the lottery or some of you are going to be left an inheritance and you're going to come into money, but it seems like you guys are working on your investments. It says plan for the future here. So some of you guys are planning for the future right now. Some of you are waiting, like if you're in the States right now, this coming fall and um, winter, you guys going to be, um, how can I say, working on your prosperity for sure, for sure. Because in the wintertime, most people do go hard and work on their money. It says the future. Plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. So some of you guys in this pile, you could do tower readings like me. You're someone that could be a counselor. You're someone who could do palm readings. You could just, you have psychic abilities that can help you. And some of you can do it in your home. You can open up a business in your home if you're open to doing that. With the sudden wealth, you see you have the Bitcoin with investment. So some of you should um, start investing in stocks and bonds or start looking into that. If you're not uh, familiar with it, you could start looking at it, taking like, entry courses or go on YouTube or go buy books and stuff like that it says invest your education and make some big plans for the future take calculated risk but save something for the so you can fall back on 
So just like I said, it seems like some of you guys are stocking your money now in the fall and the winter. So in the spring, in the coming spring and the summer, you guys really going to have your plan solid or what you want to do. And you're going to make a movement. You're going to make a, a, a pound. Wait, come on. I'm not getting distracted. Why am I getting distracted? You're going to make um um headway with whatever decision that you want to um work on. Some of you are going to make headway with investing more because with the investing is, is leading to your future. So some of you guys right now are thinking about that. It says you'll make progress now and you'll be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leap forward are possible. So if you're spiritual and you're working on something, your guys are telling you now is the time to go. If you've been seeing angel numbers and stuff like that, this is what the angel numbers is telling you. It's like to move forward. Some of you guys like the movie Purge, but you guys are being protected from people who want to prey on you for your money or be in a relationship with you for your money, your good old house, your good old stability. You being protected from that. Your uh, foundation is being protected. It says you are being protected from deceit, from situation that no longer serve you lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth so you see how this is a globe it's like it looks like a, a ice little globe but to me it's like it reminds me of a what is that called again what are those called i always forget the name of it the balls that you look into and tell the future some of you um See, I just lost that, that download real quick, trying to think of the crystal ball is called. But I lost that download. Yeah, but you guys are being protected from people who want to come and um, take from you and steal from you. And over here with the bad health and the movement, it says give and take. So some of you are very closed off with relationships right now. Some of you probably feel like there's nobody around you or the people that you meet in are are not good for you or they not equally yoke with you or they can't bring anything to the table some of you could be very small percent of you somebody that's some um, sick they like you somebody have health problems and they like you it says be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow of abundance going give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires so if you do find somebody don't stay in this because with this right here it seems like you guys are This doesn't apply to you that you're with anybody that's sick or whatever I said earlier about uh, inheritance and stuff like that. Or if you don't know anybody who's sick, want to be with you. This just goes to show it's like stop, stop, um, stop emotionally neglecting yourself. Open yourself up to giving to somebody, somebody that you feel could potentially grow with you everything starts as a seed so you start a seed and it slowly grows but make sure you let the person know what the, what you want if you're a type of person that don't like to express your feelings you're going to start learning to express your feelings before this happens hopefully because this isn't a here and now so right now is the time to learn how to start opening up to the people that you feel that you want to be with or the person that you feel could handle your emotional your emotional depths, let me say. Okay, so let's start clarifying this. Clarify this house. Why is the house in the future here for power one? Does this person see a future with power one? Once again, I don't see a person here though. It says facade beliefs, stability, harmony, and flow. So you don't need anybody who's going to be fake with you. Anybody who's coming to you again for your stability, Sila. What is this? Transcendence fell. Oh, shit. Transcendence is behind that. You need somebody who's going to unify with you. Somebody that knows, basically... Okay, before I get all into that, because, again, I'm, I'm a Pisces, and sometimes I talk far out, and I can lose a person. You need somebody who have done the work. If you've done the work, and it seems like you guys have done the work, and you're doing the work, you need somebody who can do the work with you. Not someone who could do the work with you. Someone, who, Yeah, someone who could do the work with you is someone who have done the work on themselves somebody who's gonna bring stability and harmony to you something that's just gonna flow because life is ebbs and flows relationships are ebbs and flows problems is gonna happen but you don't want somebody that's not on your wavelength with you somebody that's fake and false somebody that walks around wearing um mask and are robotic and not open and somebody that's emotionally closed off because they don't know themselves they walk around in a facade 
you don't need that. So, yeah, if if you are really um, working on that now, that's where you need to be doing. Because some of you are not at the point where you are healed and you can open your doors up to people and stuff like that. So, I'm going to hold... I'm going to clarify this bad health. I want to say this. Somebody's birthday could be November 31st, November 20th, or um, February 11th, February 13th, or the 20th, the 11th, and the 31st of any month. Then if you see M and E, could be important to you. Some of you could be seeing 777 as angel numbers. This is another confirmation that this resonates with you. If you are into Bitcoins or you've been thinking about that, another confirmation that this is um, a message for you. And don't be worrying about your money because your money's protected. Your gatekeepers, God, guides, whoever you believe in, have your money protected. Why is this bad health here for power one? In regards to the... It says leap. Somebody... This card I put in here for somebody who's like, doesn't believe in himself and kind of have like a scarcity mindset. Or like a little poverty mindset. But hold on. Somebody's stalking you. Clarify this bad health. Somebody with bad health could be stalking you. Reunion soul ties. Somebody with bad health want to talk to you. They stalking you. They trying to figure out what you're doing. They watching you because they feel that you guys have a soul tie. Like y'all belong to each other. Somebody from the past, whether you know it or not, that um, was your soulmate, still have a energetic tie to you. Well, they feel like they do. They coming back to you. It's like a faded partnership. Some of you guys have past life um, relationship, past life connection. So this person is coming back because they feel guilty because they sabotaged this relationship. So let's see. Clarify this bad health for power one. Tell me more about this bad health. It's the will of fortune and then you have the seven of wands. Somebody could have heart problems. And then you have the two of swords. Somebody's scared that you're going to be um, closed off to them. You're not going to be opened up to them because you've healed already. And the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Wheel of Fortune being here. And the Seven of Wands, they feel like you're going to block this off because, again, you already healed from this. You're moving forward. You're on a new timeline. But this person want to come to you. Somebody definitely, um, somebody really have love for you, but somebody have heart problems. Somebody has heart conditions. Clarify this re reunion and soul tie with this bad health. Who is this person with this bad health that want to come back to power number one? It says the star and the nine of swords. Somebody's really trapped in their head. It seems like somebody trying to get downloads, trying to get um, communication from their guides or whoever they believe in. Because this person is definitely trapped in their head. And they're going through anxiety. They're trying to get clarity from their guides. From whoever they believe in. But they look at you as a star. You could be Aquarius. They look at you as somebody who could help heal them. Somebody that can nurture them back. Some of you guys could be nurses. Or some of you could be therapists. Some of you could be could work in a health care then you have the four of wands here. Somebody wants stability with you. Somebody wants stability. Oh, let's see something. Maybe if you don't know this person. Let's see. Who is this person that want to come back to power number one? This person could have mental problems too. They don't have to have heart problems. And it could be mental problems. Who knows? This person could be a Libra, but it's in reverse. So it could be an Aries. Or they could have strong Aries in their chart. It wasn't in reverse. The death was in reverse. So they could be a Libra. Who's this person with bad health for power number one? You could be a manicurist, a hairdresser, or a stylist. Or this, this is who this person is. I don't know how that fits in your, um, your situation. But yeah, I'm going to come out of that one. I hope that don't fall. What time is it? 14... I'm going to give you, hold on, let's do this. Clarify this um, give and take. What they need to know, the high priestess. So some of you guys already know you guys are closed off. Some of you don't want a relationship. Some of you been hurt and you don't want a relationship. Some of you happy being by yourself. Some of you are popular loner. But yeah, you guys know what's going on here. You know this, the high priestess, you could be a Pisces. Some of you could be spiritual and like 
um, religious at the same time. But you, you know what you need to do. I'm getting strong that you know what you need to do. But hold on. Clarify the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? When it comes to this give and take. The six of pentacles. You already know what's going on. You know who this person is. You know that they want to be with you. You're probably blocking them off. With the high priestess, it seems like you um blocking this energy off from you. Let's see. You have the seven of cups on the bottom. You have options. You know you have options. So you're not really pressed with this. You don't really want to be with this person, it seems like. But they definitely see a future with you. Clarify it a little more and then I'm out of here. Sorry if it's like very loud in your ears. Okay. Clarify this bad health. Is a Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo. And I said Pisces. The high priestess is a Pisces. They could be a Virgo. You could be a Pisces. Or they a Virgo or a Pisces. Clarify this bad health and give and take for power one. Says he's lying. Travel to visit other females with this movement. Yep. Well, this person um, had a history of doing that. They did it in the past. I'm at work. I can't talk. This person was not at work. They was visiting other people or with other females or other males. Okay. Um, let's get out of that real quick. I'll use this deck. What time is it? Last message is here. Clarify the high priestess and the six of pentacles. This person want. It seems like this person. It says mirror, and I'm just about to say that. That's wild how that happened. It says reflect your own issues, like attract like. So some of you guys need to really work on yourself, and I'm sure you know that already. But look, when it says the um, Six of Pentacles, I was about to say this person want to take from you, or this person have taken from you already. This is why the protection is here. Oh, I want to tell you something real quick, being that this came out. You, I don't know, is it fitting to say this? Now? It's always fitting to say, but... I'm not going to say it. I'll say it at another time, I guess. I'm not going to say it. Clarify um, this bad health. Why is this bad health here with this give and take? Because that is the... Shit, why that happen? You see how that happened? It says toxic, dangerous, deadly combo, other lover, distant, demanded, sneaky, snake, gold digger. So this was this person in the past, or this is them still. It's, you, it says, you know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out. And that's what this high priestess. Normally, I go on more and more with the high priestess, but I'm not. Because it says your pose. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go on and on because I feel the energy like you guys don't need me to start harping on the high priestess and this. But, yeah, this person, they, they want to come back to you. But this person is like a diva. They have unexpected realization. I mean unexpected uh they have unexpected expectations of other people when it comes to their they relationships this person is a dumb person that is too here that they steal money they're a swindler they do things for money this person is a person that go after people for their stability they toxic and they go after people for their stability but this person seems like they want to come back to you they do see a future in you they do see a future with you this person talk fast somebody talk fast or they just talk and don't think they do see a future with you. However, it, this person have ulterior motive. They look at you as somebody that's very abundant. Somebody that is very stable. Somebody that can help them, heal them, give them money, give them a foundation, give them everything. But what do they bring to the table? It doesn't seem like much. So, if you've gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Look, this person got secret accounts and he's stalking you. You know when I said this person probably talk and don't think? Look, it says reckless love and talking shit. Like and subscribe. Till next time, Tara Lynn. Okay, pound number two. If you pick this clear quartz or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Whenever you see this reading, hopefully it is useful to you. And shout out to my subscribers. What's popping with you guys? If you're a visitor, welcome. If you're a visitor returning, 
welcome back and the title is do they see a future with you so the, you guys for this pile you should be using your intuition or you need to be using clear quartz crystals to like you know balance yourself if you feel the need to investigate that message investigate that message if you're not feel to investigate it don't investigate it okay so let's go we have thoughts we have marriage in reverse and we have high honor. So, do this person see you as marriage material? Be it that I'm asking for the future. I'm going to take it two ways. Some of you guys have somebody in thought of you. Some of you, they're in thought of you because they went along and married someone else. And they see you as high honor. You're going to have to take this how it applies to you. They see you, somebody as high honor. Somebody that the community supports. The community praise you. You have a good standing in the community. You have a good reputation. They see you that way. Or, you can be somebody that was in a marriage, became divorced, and now you have a guy that is thinking about you. And they're thinking about you again because you are high honor. So the only thing that changes is if you are divorced or if this person is getting divorced. Now we'll clarify the divorce is moving up. It says you are increasing your power and your status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. So be careful, I want to say this, I'm called to say this to you. Whoever you get in a relationship with, power one and power two, the energy is kind of the same with their money being protected and being careful with people coming through wanting to use them for their money. Be careful who you with when it comes to settling down with them, letting them move in, you moving in with them, any serious commitment contracts. Be serious of who you're getting in with because it seems strongly that there are people in your energy lurking and they want to use you for your money. They see that you are stable. They see you are moving up. They see you are working on your stability. So no matter how you feel like, oh, I don't have any money right now, they see it in you. They see the promise in you. And then it says money matters underneath the thoughts. It says money matters a lot. Now, watch your expenses and save up for the future. You need to be prepared for the unexpected. Something could go on unexpectedly with your um, your stability, a.k.a. your housing or your money coming in. You know, money's an ebb and flow. So you just have to be in the flow of things. You have to be in the flow of preparing for a rainy day, as my parents raised me to know. You always have to prepare for a rainy day. Even if the sun is shining today, be prepared for a rainy day. Now, again, this person does. Yes, they do see... Um, you as somebody that they can have a future with or somebody that they can build with but it's under what circumstances are they doing this now it says over here with the high honor as I showed you the high honor some of you could have been in the military or the person that's gonna come forward could have been in the military or come across very militant or someone like an emperor somebody that's very uh, militant it says in the flow so, in the flow, it says the universe is sending you help. Tap into the inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. So, right now, you you are like on the top of the wheel right now. The wheel is turning in your favor. It seems like you have everything that you need to make it happen. If you want to have a relationship, you should have a relationship. But remember who you let come in and go with the flow because the universe is helping bring people in. Right now, if you're going through money um, issues and you're not thinking about a marriage because you're going through money issues or maybe some of you got divorced and you had to pay out money and you don't have a lot of money, you do need money if you want to be in a relationship. But that shouldn't be the stress right now. That shouldn't be really the focus right now unless you're there for ul um, ulterior motives. Right here, it says drama. It says... Beware of troublemakers in your workplace. The job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. So again, it seems like you guys are in high honor. It says high honor in the flow and avoid drama. 
Do not let nobody come trying to ruin your reputation. Don't be around people who can ruin your reputation because you are seen as somebody as high honor. Some of you have people that want to be with you and they're not even in your league. You guys are not equally yoked. Some of you want to travel to Paris or some of you have been to Paris before. Hold on for a second. Right now it's cuffing season, so you guys have to be prepared for the hobosexuals to come around. People who want to be with you because, again, you have your stability. It seems like somebody here didn't plan for the future and they thinking about you. And why they thinking about you? Because they penny pension. Um, let's start clarifying this. And again, be aware of people coming to start drama with you because they see that you're calm, you serene, you humble. Do not let these people try to rattle your cage. Clarify this and as the high honor. This is what I was telling you. People in the computer people in the community, they support you. You are successful. You look at some look at you looked at as victorious. Some of you could be a Leo. You walk around with your shoulders up. You're very prideful. You care how you um, how you uh, present yourself in life. Clarify this high honor. And clarify... No, forget the high honor. Clarify this marriage in reverse. Why is this marriage in reverse in regards to do they see a future with power number two? This deck just got shifty. It says temperance. So somebody needs some balance. Somebody needs some patience here. Somebody needs some cooperation, but the, this this is in reverse. Hold on. No. I know I picked this deck for you guys, but hold on for a second. Clarify this marriage in reverse. Why is this marriage in reverse for pal number two in regards to bottled up? Too many unexpressed emotions, time bomb holding back. Yeah, people... Whoever this person is, they're not expressing themselves. And it's complicated on the bottom. A lot of, it says a lot of twists and turns, naughty situations, very precarious. So I don't know if this person is married, if they've divorced, if they just got divorced. Somebody here with the five of cups in reverse. Um, somebody's feeling sad. Somebody feeling grief and loss. So maybe this person is coming out of a relationship. They're coming out of marriage. And this person is in grief and loss. Somebody's in grief and loss, however you want to put it. They coming out of a relationship and they thinking about coming to you. They look at you like you're moving up, you know, moving on up to the east side, if you know that song. <laughs> I'm not going to really sing it out. But, yeah, they see you moving up and they see you in high on and they want to come back. This, um, I, I was watching this reader and she called this person Batman and I was hilar it was hilarious to me. I was dying. I forgot her name, though. But she said, yeah, Batman is wounded. And I used to look at this and I used to <laughs> look at this like I used to say, this is like a um, this is like a what you call them? Damn it. I can't get the name. I can't forget. It's, it's basically describing Batman, but I never called him Batman. And it's funny that this person called them Batman. But yeah, this person is having relationship problems. So I don't know what the hell going on here. Last messages. Clarify this um, marriage in reverse with the thoughts. Thrive off a toxic situation. So yeah, that's why it's complicated. This person morals is fucked up. This person who want to come to you, they have bad morals. They don't have no morality. They thrive off a toxic situation. This is why it's complicated with a lot of twists and turns and too many um, unexpressed emotions. This person is immature. They walk around like the perfect mother or father, like a workaholic, and they're faithful, but they pretend it. This person like to party. They smoke hookah. They like to have hookups, and they hide in this. This is the problem here. It says I'm hiding a child and a, um, and a relationship. Yeah, this is why this person is immature. They can't commit to a person. For some reason, it's like they're wounded. They've been wounded in their past. They have issues expressing their emotions. This person is immature when it comes to their emotions. This energy is reminding me of a, like a, a, a knight of wands or something. Somebody who want to have sex and all that, but yeah. But I don't know. Once again, take it for what it's worth. They do see you as somebody in the, that they could be with. But then again, for others, it's like they don't see you because they're divorcing you. So I'm going off to pile three. Like, you know, subscribe. Till next time, Tarot Pile number three, if you pick the amethyst, or if you pick this small little carnelian or if you pick this deck this is your reading shout out to you guys hope all is well with you and thanks for coming through holding the vibes building the channel and shout out to my subscribers new and old what's popping if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back today's title is do they see a future with you take what apply leave the rest this is not going to be a long reading because this goes to number two so go to number two because i don't like to sit in the same energy and say 
like try to find new ways to saying the same thing. So this person, um, there's somebody who definitely, people in your community, there's people who have an eye on you and feel that they do have a future with you because you are somebody who's wish fulfillment. Some of you are very accomplished. They look at you like you could like um, provide them with whatever they want because you are basically like a genie. Some of them look at you like you can please them sexually and they, they don't, they know that wouldn't be a problem. And the distance horizon though, because you have community distance horizon and concern. So in the distance horizon, somebody going to have to focus on releasing and, and purging their, their toxicity, their emotions from past relationships. Because with the relationship card here, there is a problem here with somebody, like people coming towards you, being stuck in a past or still having concerns or with commitments that they have with other families and if they have children and stuff. And that's in power number two. It says relationships, business partners, office love affairs and communication with co-workers are highlighted right now. Make choices with extreme care. Be very cautious of who you let your let in your life right now as far as relationships. I don't care what type of relationships. Business partners, office love, family, all of that. Right now, relationships are being highlighted for some reason. It's something with your chart and how your chart is and coming off of this full moon in Aries with that eclipse. You have to start looking at people and be cautious of people who you allow in your life and not letting them come in and be toxic and come to um um like trauma bond with you and and stuff like that you have to clear this stuff clear your your past loves and clear about your past soulmates and start seeing people for who they are don't look at them how you used to look at them in the past look at them for what they are now it says reflections it says take time to visit your past and figure out what you want to do no one what you don't like will show you what you truly love. So some of you guys, you don't know yourself. You haven't tapped into your emotions to see what you really like. You're still holding on to emotions. You're still emotionally immature. This says perspective. It says if you if you change the way you look at things, you could see everything in a brand new light that will help you get where you need to be. So again, you need to start looking at things, changing your mentality, growing up, maturing. Cutting ties is on the bottom. You need to cut ties with certain toxic people. It says cutting ties. You may need to leave your current position and look for something better. Finding a job that, that doesn't mean burning the bridges is going with grace. Sometimes you have to let people go with love. Um, hold on for a second. Okay, very quickly. I clarified the concern. Somebody's trapped in their head because they did some betraying to this um, nine of pentacles. Somebody that looks good, smell good half her stuff going. This person want to be with you. This person was tied in their head and didn't make a decision. They look at you as some as a soulmate, somebody they want to love and be with. They also see you as somebody grounded, somebody that can be very mature when it comes to your money matters, somebody that love to delve in uh, opulence, like luxury things. Not to say you just care about image and stuff, but you some of them could care about image, and this is why you guys are not together. But with this Five of Swords, they betrayed you, and they heartbroken, but they want to come back. Like, you know, subscribe.